How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Seth Julian. Welcome you to today's briefing. We're going to talk about interest rates, inflation, stock market evaluations, and how that works. One thing we, two things we are fairly aware of, unless we're living under rocks, and I know none of you are, that prices are rising in the general economy. Price things are getting more expensive, and that is called inflation, price inflation. We also know, as of last night, again, were you not listening to any news media whatsoever, you would be unaware that the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States, raised its interest rate. And that's not the interest rate you and I pay, by the way. That's the interest rate banks pay for their cash. They loan it out at a higher rate. But they raised their interest rates again by three quarters of a point to three and a quarter percent. Now, what I've charted here in this chart, the blue line is the interest rate, the U.S. interest rate. The red line is the U.S. inflation rate. Now, I want to point out, first of all, that in times past, I have to bring this down just a little bit. No, I'm sorry. Make them the same. Make them both auto fit. In times past, uh, when the inflation rate got high, the interest rate had to pretty much come up there and meet it. Otherwise, um, it didn't really come down. Now, in this case, we're here up at about 8.5% for the inflation rate, more or less, depending on how it's judged. And we're only at 3 and a quarter. So there are those who say, myself included, that the interest rates are going to have to go higher to bring this down. Now, you'll notice a slight dip right there. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, most people say it doesn't mean much. What we do know, and the Fed says as much, is that this interest rate is going to have to go up much higher. By the way, you should know that the long-term average interest rate is about here, where that pink line is. Five and a quarter percent, five and a half percent. That's the long-term average rate of interest. Now, that the inter the relationship between raising the cost of money, also known as the interest rate, that's what the cost of money is, and inflation is fairly well known. If you want to stop the rise in prices, you make money more expensive. You take money out of the the economy. You make it more expensive to to buy or rent that money. Now, I do want to show you one additional chart that also likely will not come as a surprise to you. That is the chart of the uh, S&P 500. The S&P 500 has um, closed yesterday deep, deep in the red. And it's been in the red for some time. Lest you think that this is a new phenomena, uh, the S&P has been declining since the beginning of, of uh, January. As of all the world's stock exchanges, by the way. We know that fairly well. This is the S&P 500. Um, it's been in mind since the beginning of the year. It's 2022. I'll make it a little smaller. Daily chart. It's been rising, rising since the rebound. And it's been declining ever since because inflation has been around. Now, here's what I want to, here's the little lesson we want to cover today. What is the relationship between inflation, interest rate, and stock prices? It's fairly simple. If your money is not worth very much today, you're willing to pay money for profits in the future, re a return in the future. In other words, if I say to you today, would you rather have uh, a 10% return on your money in one year or a 15% return on your money in two years? Logically speaking, if you understand the value of money, you'll say, no, I'll take the that money now in one year because I'll be able to take the profit and reinvest it. It's called the present value of money. And when there is no return on your money today, a quarter, a zero percent, your bank wasn't giving you anything, bonds were paying peanuts, you were very willing to put your money in the stock market because you were buying the future profits of corporations, which is sounds great, except that when, um, those future profits are diminishing because inflation is d depressing uh, top line uh, growth, sales is, is slowing because uh, prices are rising. And the interest rate on money that you can simply park in a bank is rising. You don't want to hold the stocks as much as you want to hold money in cash in a bank or, or in terms of a bond in an investment that's going to pay a higher interest rate. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the relationship between this blue line, this which represents the interest, this red line, which represents the ascension rate, and this sea of red, which represents the current closing of the S&P 500. So ladies and gentlemen, we're turning today's to a close. Interest rates rising. Uh, that's going to be very strong for a dollar by, do by, a, a dollar, um, by the dollar index. 
dollar yen is going up uh dollar pound dollar is going down the dollar is getting stronger so ladies and gentlemen with that i'm going to bring this session to a close i'm your host seth julian wishing you all ladies and gentlemen the ability to trade with confidence 